Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in seeing what I made for this week, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just going to hop right into it. All of the items that you guys see here are from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to start off by spray painting all the houses with my silver metallic spray paint. Now I'm going to cover the remaining items with my gold metallic spray paint. I spray painted some of these wood pieces off camera and I'm going to use them to glue my houses in a boxed shape. Now I'll be using some of this Mod Podge silver glitter and also gold glitter to create a mixture to cover all my items. I'm also applying this mixture to the insides, but only near the top. I'm using this leftover foam board and also my silver sharpie to trace a square for the bottom of the house and then I'm going to cut it out with my exacto knife. I'm using this gold diamond wrap and I'm going to glue it to all the middle and the top windows and then I'm going to glue my silver diamond wrap to all the lower level windows. Now 
I'm using these square mirror tiles to finish decorating my house. I will be using eight mirror tiles for each side, but I will not be doing one side because that side will be the back side and you guys will not see that side. Now I'm working on my little boxes. I'm gonna be gluing six mirror tiles to each box. Now I'm taking my aluminum foil roll and I'm going to wrap these LED lights around it. Okay, so you guys see me gluing the aluminum foil roll to the center of my house, which I should have did that later, but you guys will see why in a second. Okay y'all, so this is why I needed to remove that piece. It was easier for me to add the flowers to my aluminum foil roll this way. I'm gluing these flowers about halfway down. I'm re-gluing this piece back to the center and I'm going to use these clear acrylic gems to finish decorating my house. I'm gluing these small gems to my skull's teeth. Once I was done cleaning all my mirror tiles off, I removed any excess glue strings and then this is how everything turned out. 
I used this black creepy cloth along with some LED lights that I had from my previous Halloween video to help with the final setup. And I think it turned out pretty good. But tell me what y'all think. Please like, comment, and share. And if you're curious to see what else I can create, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my next video.